The Sega Dreamcast, it's equally the most influential game console of all time, or the most overrated game console of all time, depending on who you ask on Twitter. So I wanted to take a little bit of time to talk about the Dreamcast and some of the firsts that came from both the hardware and the software aspect. Honestly, I think it was one of the most unique game consoles of the time, one of my most favorite game consoles of, of all time. And being a big Sega fan, it came at a really great time. Unfortunately, a little bit short-lived, but uh, let's go ahead and celebrate some of the firsts that the Dreamcast happened to accomplish. Now, you may or may not have been a big fan of the Dreamcast. What do you think about the Dreamcast? Is that a system that you played a lot of? Is it some, something that you've never really uh, heard of before or really played with? Regardless, I think you would have a lot of fun with it. There's so much variety on the system and there's something for everybody. But yeah, it, it, it still, you know, it still is very near and dear to my heart having lived through the Dreamcast launch and it's still has a thriving active community today so very very excited to be talking to you today about the top 10 list for Dreamcast firsts now one of them is kind of a cheat but I'm gonna throw it in there anyways because I think it's worth mentioning so all right let's dive into the list right now first one Sega Dreamcast was the first game console to have built-in internet capabilities with the modem the 56k modem that was built right into the console. You could take it out and swap it out for a broadband adapter because internet was getting a little bit faster at that time, but most everybody who had internet access had 56K access or dial-up access uh, at that time. And from there, you could access the internet, you could access email, you could access online gaming capabilities right from the get-go. The Sega Dreamcast was also the first game console to include a web browser with every single box that enabled a lot of these online functionalities. It was very, very forward thinking. Even though some of the features weren't really available right from the get-go, it really got to pick up some speed even in the short console lifespan that it had. The Dreamcast was the first console, the first and only console, to use GD-ROMs or Gigabit Disk ROMs, which were capable like its namesake of storing up to one gigabyte of data, which was actually the largest game disc at that time. DVD was out, but there was no game consoles that had that built in at that time. A couple short years later, you had the PS2, of course, but the GD-ROM was first. The Dreamcast was the first console to have a memory card with a built-in LCD screen called the VMU, or the Visual Memory Unit which also could actually act independently of the game console. It had a couple controls on it, you can plug two together to transfer saves, or you can even use uh, the VMU for some mini games, like from Sonic Adventure with the Chow Garden. So that was really innovative at the time. The Dreamcast, maybe it wasn't a first, but it was a second. It had the second game ever to use cell shading graphic style, which was Jet Set Radio or Jet Grind Radio in the States, uh, just a couple months after Fear Effect, which is credited for being the first game with cell shading graphics. So even though it wasn't an exact first, it was super close. I'm gonna give it credit for being second. The Dreamcast had the first console MMORPG, or massively multiplayer online role-playing game, which was of course Fantasy Star Online. That was one of the first MMOs that I ever got into and I spent a ton of hours playing that game. And you can actually play that game still today with fan-made master servers for that. So it's amazing. It's still kind of simplistic based on current MMOs that are out now like World of Warcraft, but it's still an amazing experience. The Dreamcast had the first game with online chat voice chat specifically with Alien Front Online. Alien Front Online is kind of like a, an arcade tanks versus alien shooter type game. Very fun. A little bit short on replayability, but it was the first game to be credited with online real-time voice interactivity. The Dreamcast was one of the first game consoles to 
support online video chat. Now this only really came out in Japan, and if it had lived a little bit longer, then we might have experienced it here in the States and in Europe, but it was with the Dream Eye camera and included software. You could take video or pictures and then send them over the internet, or you can have video chat live, which is very innovative at the time, and it's common every day now, so I'm gonna say that Dreamcast was way ahead of its time for doing that. The Dreamcast was one of the first game consoles to offer a cross console link cable with a different manufacturer. This was a link cable that connected the Dreamcast with an SNK console, which was the Neo Geo Pocket Color. There were only a couple specific games that supported this, like King of Fighters and Capcom vs. SNK. Uh, gave you some extra content for players that linked up, but definitely a, a big first on the list, especially since it was not a Sega console that it could connect to. Now the Dreamcast was actually the first game console, home game console, to support 480p or high definition resolution, essentially, through the VGA cable. Uh, now you can get that through a custom component cable as well if you wanted to do that for the Dreamcast, but most likely this was due to the uh, arcade hardware that essentially the Dreamcast came from, or a lot of Sega consoles uh, were derived from and the Dreamcast was one of the more uh, powerful game systems and at the time of course arcade units were connected to monitors and monitors uh, re the common resolutions for that back then 240p 480p was was pretty good but Dreamcast was the first home game console to support 480p resolution it may be called high definition it's it looks pretty good but of course, it doesn't compare as much to 1080p, but it does upscale really well. It does look fantastic on a CRT monitor and actually on the right screen. Now, those were some of the, the top 10 firsts for the Sega Dreamcast. I hope you enjoyed the video. Do you like the Dreamcast? Did you know some of the facts that I told you today? Leave a comment below in the video, and I'm really, really excited to hear about what you think of the Dreamcast. Are you a big fan of it? Um, want to cover some more content with the Dreamcast in the future, so stay tuned and have fun and game on.